number one, I put my computer into sleep mode instead of using the screensaver. You're about to get me shocked by this question. I keep electronic devices, computers, toasters, printers, chargers, unplugged, when not in use. Oh, shoot. I take short showers less than 10 minutes long. So, story time, people. I used to be the worst shower taker. I would take hot, steamy, hot, hot showers for like 25 minutes. Some showers were like, I've been gone for a month in there. So, <laughs> now, I try to take... Like, I time myself for 10 minutes, and if it's not exactly 10 minutes, that's because I take my time, like, shampooing my hair with the water off. Like, I'll constantly turn it off and on. You'll never see me buying a plastic water bottle. She don't do that here. No. I don't buy food at the grocery store that is packaged in individual servings. Usually. I say usually because I bought a few granola bars here and there, which I'm going to stop because I'm going to learn how to make my own recipe. But other than that, everything is usually, like full produce or bulk items so when shopping i bring my own bags always because if i don't bring my bags that means i didn't bring my drawers which means i can't shop so <laughs> i have to always have my bags oh this, this one girl mentioned in class that she brings her own jars oh that's awesome and then my professor says what you do that <laughs> and then she said you know i also have trouble doing or doing that she's like you know whenever i go to sprouts yeah they really do she, she mentioned sprouts and so how they, they always mess up and stuff. And yeah, the they really thinking, do. They mess up almost every time. When shopping, I decline a bag for my purchase unless I really need it. Always. On the other side. <laughs> I told the class to bring um, Tupperware to uh, to restaurants and stuff. And then this one girl in the class. A said revolutionary. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to come back after we calculate. calculating it. So one up. 104. Divide by 38. <laughs> <laughs> You're, this test is bullshit. Spencer told me not to read some of his answers, so you know what I'm going to do? Plot twist on this freaking <laughs> BS environmental right, sustainability fine. quiz. Re I'm going to read re Spencer's. Re <laughs> I think this one is the funniest one. <laughs> he said, I trip chain planning yeah. so I could combine most of my errands in one trip. Spencer always, always backtracks and goes just... Yeah, in one trip. Oh my god. Yeah, that trip that's worse than five different trips. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. You always buy organic food? Yeah. No, I didn't put always. Yes, you did! did I? Yeah. <laughs> All right, put I could just imagine Spencer in his environmental class like... I was the first one to do this. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that one time we were at the at H and M or something, and yeah, they were so you're selling. You're already wrong. It wasn't even H and M. <laughs> they were selling water bottles for good cause, and I was just looking at the water bottle previously before he was thinking about buying it, and I was like, oh my god, good cause? Yeah, plastic's terrible. Like, I'm like, who would even buy these water bottles? And then the guy behind the register asked Spencer, oh, would you like a, an extra water bottle to help support blah, blah, And Spencer was like, oh, yeah, sure. And I just looked at him. And I she was, was like, so mad that day. I was so... <laughs> okay, so as we learned, I need lots and lots and lots of improvement, which I already knew. I'm not a perfect environmentalist. I do have a long way to go. were shocked when you got your answers? Because I thought <laughs> I was better than that. We learned Spencer um, is... Recycling. <laughs> Spencer is a big fraud when it comes... <laughs> <laughs> but it just shows that we do have a long way to go in our environmental Think journey. about it. There's people out there who would be really honest with themselves. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna leave the quiz um, I don't know if it will be the exact quiz, but I will leave because I don't You're know if I could. You're making your own quiz. I, <laughs> I don't know if I could find this online. Just take a and picture I'm not of gonna it. Screenshot your. You could. Just... Oh, I guess. No, it's too much work. I'm just gonna find something similar online, and I want to know what your guys's um, grade is on your environmental impact. Oh my God, guys! <laughs> so we were just at REI for like almost two hours. I wanted to see if the sandals I wanted fit me because, um, you know, Spencer and I are going to go on a world tour. So I wanted like strappy sandals instead of my rainbows because I don't want to lose those. I just want something universal that I can wear almost every day. I told him I was going to buy something and I told him don't let me. I didn't believe her. And but I convinced her to buy a backpack. I ended up <laughs> buying my first world travel <laughs> backpack. I don't know what her name's going to be, but I feel 
like it's a girl and I feel like Stacy is calling my name. I just feel like she gives off a Stacy vibe. And right now we're gonna go to Monty's in LA. It's um, Grizzle. vegan burgers and apparently they're super good. It's like a Denny's. Or Ruby's. A Ruby's. So they got like shakes and. So we finally found a parking structure and we're like, oh my God, it's free parking. Amazing, perfect. We get in the elevator and it literally said, no Monty's parking and we're going to Monty's. We've been driving in circles for about 25 minutes. It takes longer to find parking in the area you're going to rather than the length it takes you to actually get to that place you want us to go to. <laughs> Let me just tell you, I got a burger, some french fries, and a shake for $24. The double burger is $14, and the regular standard little thin patty is $11. But if you go to a mommy burger. What would you rate Monty's? I would rate it probably... A six. I, I was going to say seven, and I thought it was going to be low, but you said six. So, I guess average it out, 6.5 Monty's gets. But the tater tots were out of the world and yeah, the shake the was the best thing ever. Everything else was like, it was okay. Okay guys, we're going up there today. <laughs> this time we're gonna hike up to the Hollywood sign. We are. <laughs> According to Shane Dawson, this happened because of lasers. Which I believe. <laughs> like, tell me, does that look natural? <laughs> Shane Dawson, tell me the truth. It's like a nature Someone made um, bracelet. Cute. This little ball right here? Yeah. That's a wild cucumber. Wow. It's poisonous. Don't eat it, guys. Okay, guys. The sun's peeking out, if you can see. I don't know how much longer I could go. educate you guys on this nature we got here so we've hiked to the Hollywood sign guys we have seen trees and flowers and a dead bee protect the bees guys because we are not gonna get our honey without bees but we don't need the honey from the bees because we got agave so we wouldn't have plants without the bees and get agave that are in glass bottles because we don't support plastic industries right guys thank you for listening to my TED talk until next time Peace out. Spencer, be careful. Oh my god. <laughs> Spencer. Oh god, I'm stuck. Oh, oh my, my god. god. There. This is like perfect. They must have brought like a tool. <laughs> yeah, they really engraved that really well. I wonder how old it is. Hmm. This is for you, Miranda. Wow, an acorn? It's a pine cone. A pine cone? <laughs> it's a snail shell. <gasps> Getting it to rock. Oh my god. I'm gonna go to the observatory and go check it out again for the third time. Because we just like seeing the same exact stuff over and over again. <laughs> right, Spencer? I found a cool rock. It's cool. It's black. Beginning. Oh, he's throwing it. No one's on the other side. We'll go. Wow. Spencer and I just stumbled upon um, this cool, like, ancient pathway. It's like stairs, but it's not Dude, stairs. Dude, look at that. Like, like, where did these stairs go? I don't know. Do go down here? I'm scared. Be scared. <laughs> okay, you go down first. If you die, then I won't. How about let's go down there and pick up that water bottle? Okay. <gasps> 
Oh. A Viking's gonna come out and be like, you guys know that he's sleeping there because of his day today. <laughs> Inga Dingle Dorgan. <laughs> Watch me go up there and then I'll meet you at the top. Go! Buddy, you're not hiking up there. Just go, 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 go. Okay, guys, if your nose is ever running, you get some natural black stage and Right, this is the Just stick it up there. <laughs> do what Spencer's doing. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> so we did make it to the top. Gotta to coexist with the nets. <laughs> and we're gonna go back up to the down, down, and then down, and then back up to the observatory. <laughs> <laughs> A little slice of heaven, more like a little slice of H E hell. Can you imagine no, those cows? No H E double hockey stick. We don't have any right to kill cows because they don't want to die. <laughs> <laughs> so the observatory is closed. So we're gonna go home, get clean, go to thrift stores. Okay guys, so we just were walking down New York Boulevard and went to try a bunch of like the vegan alternatives. Yeah, I think it's like every Friday they have like a vegan festival. Yeah, it's a bunch pretty of vegan, cool. Like talk our trucks and like vegan tents. Is it really good? Oh. <laughs> Spencer's burrito, I would rate it a 6 out of 10. Yeah, I'd give it a 5. My burrito was definitely like a 7 out of 10. Only get the vegan tacos, not the burritos. Maybe we should have tried the carne asada burrito. Good. You like <laughs> it? <laughs> I wouldn't get it again. What, what do you rate it? I mean... Yeah, yeah, six. Now we're gonna go home and watch um, a movie and maybe some SpongeBob. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching today's <laughs> vlog. Like and subscribe. <laughs> what is this with the dude down below? Like and subscribe. <laughs> and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Oh, yeah, that would be cool. I wish I had a churro. Oh, that sounds good. That'd be good. <laughs>